Hey, are you wondering what are the differences between a single tie and a multi-tie solution for your application? I'm Harrison, a DevOps software engineer with Atoll Web Technology. Okay, what is single tie architecture? So when you put all your all the required components for a software application or your web application, both the back end and the front end on just one server, it is known as single tie architecture. So basically, here's our server. So in this server, we have our application code, we have our web server installed, and we have our database installed on just a single server. So this has an advantage. So one of the advantages is that it enables you to test your application in a development environment. So for small site with low traffic demand, which require effective resources utilization, a single tire architecture works perfectly. It also, it is easy to manage and maintain. So basically you can just log in SSH into your server and maintain the application, the web server and the database as well. And last but not the least, a single tie deployment is cost effective. So those of you, those startup that you're between budget wise, single tie architecture works fine for you. So it also, ha it also has a disadvantage. So one of the disadvantage is that availability and security risk. Yes, which is true. So when, uh, let's say, because we have all the resources on the same machine, if the server is down, so when this server is down, the hub will be down and cannot talk with the database. So basically when this server gets, when it's down, this our application cannot communicate to the database. So, and also when our server is um, externally attacked, that means we lost our application and likewise our data. So let's move on to our multi-tie architecture. So in a multi-tie solution, you separate the back end, which is the database, from the front end, which is the application in different servers. So here we have two server. We have our application server and we have our database server, which is the back end. So having the resources spread into different servers is boost your deployment performance. So in those applications that include replication, such as a database, so a database can be replicated across more than one single server, which prevent the loss, the loss of data in, in case of cluster failure. So some of the advantages of a multi-tier architecture is high scalability. So we can just, um, since we have our application and web server on this um, server here, we can replicate it to a different one. So we can either do a horizontal scale or a vertical scale in this case. And also high availability is an advantage as well. And also failover. So a failover is when a server detects that, okay, I won't be able to handle any requests. So what the server will uh, so what the server would do is that it would transfer control to a different server to handle the request. So in a multi-tier arch architecture, so basically the workload is decentralized. So it ensures that when a server is done, the rest of the deployment is working. And last but not the least, it provides security. So security is something that you need to consider when deploying your application. So I hope this helps you to understand the differences between a single tie and a multi-tie architecture. So if you find this video um, helpful, please like and leave a comment below. Thank you.